Welcome to this week's episode of the Coffee Corner Show. I'm Paul Mirador. I'm joined with Laura Bofill and Hi. Thelma Suga. Hi, everyone. I'm back. May I talk about the historic Filipino Town Festival? Oh, go ahead. Thank you, Paul. It's coming up. It's this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, my friends in the Filipino American community. Karen Sita is going to be there, over 15 million viewers. YouTube sensation, August 4th and 5th, just across where we are now, Silver Lake Medical Center from 10 to 4 p.m. Be there or be square. That's coming up soon. It so. is this weekend. Oh, yeah. All right. Wow. So excited, Laura. Yay. You got to be there. Oh, gosh. Well, okay. she was busy with the Comic-Con, so tell mm -hmm. us about it. Congratulations oh. on that, by the way. Yeah, it was a blast. So it was fun talking with you guys from afar. <laughs> yeah, I got to see all sorts of costumes. You know, there was a lot of screenings, panels. So, I mean, there's an article if you go online to www.eclipse magazine. That's I, your I, blog. This is my, uh, you know, yeah. I did write an article, so if you want to know a little bit of what I did down there, it's And fun. Film Creatives, you did something yes, with that. I do did. tell. I did. So uh, we, um, Paul and I were at the Film Creative Filmmakers Showcase. They showcased 10 short films, and it was great. I mean, I just... The, the quality of the filmmaking, the acting, I was blown away. There were some great, uh, I, I saw that last night, right? Yeah, so yeah. there's there some great 10, 15, 20 minute videos, mm -hmm. uh, films, basic, short films, basically. Was Abe in any of them? Uh, Abe is always in one of them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Making a cameo. Yeah. But uh, no, it was no, really amazing. it was really good. So yeah. good. I can't Where wait for that happen? to come out. Where last did... night. Where? So that's why we only had How like four hours yeah. sleep. Well, well, tell me though, how come I didn't get my ticket? You didn't get the invite? I didn't. You didn't get the memo? I didn't. You're not in the circle. Okay, I'm sorry. Right. So <laughs> That is, that is. It's a it. sad state of life, but it is what it is. All right, so oh. you know what? Okay, so tell us who's our uh, oh, yes, lineup guest for you. today. I thought you'd never ask. We've got a full show loaded with interesting guests today. We've got Vardan Sargassian with his tall sidekick, kick, which is Bernie Johansson. Don't call and him I a sidekick. He's a partner. Uh, well, like he's the Robin to the Batman. Is that okay? <laughs> Robin know. to the Batman. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty, pretty work. equal, pretty equal. <laughs> so, and then we have, of course, my Lean Rectos cooking demo segment, which is always a favorite of our mm -hmm. viewers, mm -hmm. really. They rave about it. She's so fun, bubbly. And, of course, Eric Esteban, up-and-coming comedian. Lastly, Sam Lorenzana. You want to tell them more about that? So, well, Sammy Lorenzana, uh, basically, we're going to have him uh, yes. later on. He's, we're going to talk to him about uh, his new products. Uh, I think he, he has new sauce coming up, right? Yes, and so I know you, there's one. one with your name on it, Paul. Oh, really? Okay, yes. We're gonna, wow. As long as it's not too spicy. <laughs> no, for Anyway, sure. well, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And but a few words from our sponsor. Again, this week I'm so excited last week we made a watermelon feta and tomato salad some tomatoes were from my balcony so I'm continuing this theme of summer food okay because when it's a hundred degrees outside the last thing we want to do at least I the last thing I want to do is be slaving away in a hot kitchen with the 350 degree oven on I mean who wants to do that right I actually like to grill with my shirt off when it's hot. Oh, okay, well that's okay. Do you have muscles? Of like, course. is it a good look? Of course. Okay, if it's a good look, then saying. you can keep doing it's that. It's just one of those things I like to do, just putting it out there. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, 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 maybe we might have to do a segment on that with you grilling with your shirt off. It's up to you. I would have, probably have to do some more sit ups, but it'd be all right. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, just like get swole. A little bit. All right, push ups okay. and stuff. So today we are going to cook 
cook in quotes a chicken salad. Okay. All right. I don't so. Say the and no, but see, here's the trick, okay? Because summer is all about being out and having fun. So we want to make this really quick so we can go out there and, and enjoy the fun and sun, okay? Here's so it. here's my little cheat, okay? What I do is I go to pavilions. I'm going to plug my local pavilions. And on Fridays, they have the $5 special. $5, $5, make $5. you holla, okay? Oh. <laughs> and you can get a rotisserie chicken already cooked for $5. So a $5 chicken that makes you holler? Yes, girl, okay? Wow. So what That's I did here is, yeah, it's a for great, $5. it's a good chicken. Well, you could do that Costco chicken too. Yes, you can. Rotisserie and cut that up. That lasts for That's, like two, three You know days. what? It's brilliant. Yeah, I okay? love that Costco So chicken. I do not stay home without a rotisserie chicken because you can do a lot of things with it. It's true. That's like a setup. For I, don't you, baby. Leave. <laughs> I don't leave. Should I don't leave. I don't leave. I don't leave Costco. No, no, honey. Those. No, I need. I need. Two I need you here next chickens. to me. Okay. So keep in the fridge. That's right. It's true. So what I did here is I already cut up into bite-sized pieces chicken breast meat without the skin. Fancy. No bones, no skin. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to put a little mayonnaise. Okay. A little dabble douya, like that. Whoops. Ooh. Don't go there, okay? Okay, I won't. I know you're gonna say was, something. I, I mean, I'm I know just, your, I know, I know it your was mind. It's like a given. I know how your mind works. Okay, then what I'd like to do now is put my favorite hot sauce, which is sriracha, okay? And do a little of that. Hey, let's go for it, a little of that. Okay, and of course, Dijon mustard. Oh, can you open the, here? You've got you he muscles. Got muscles. No, honey, you have muscles. Well, all he's, right. He's he's he's, he, he's more in the food industry, so he'd be more apt to open jobs. That's right. That's Whereas right. I'm just a comedian. All I do is hold the mic. See, so okay. He, that's more his. That's his thing. That's his thing. That's it's right his in thing. his lane. He's staying in his lane. I'm staying in my lane. All right. So now what I did is just I added some mustard. And I always like to put a little sesame oil in this to make it kind of Asian-y, and I love the smell of sesame oil anyway. See, I prefer it more Asian-y than if you were to put raisins or something in it. Oh, no, honey, no raisins on this no one. Raisins no raisins. No raisins. Chicken salad, just so you know. <laughs> Not in my chicken salad. I'm looking at you, Karen. Okay, so now we're gonna mix. Can I have you mix that up? Sure. With your expert touch. And in the meantime, what I have here, no no, because the um, it's already spicy enough with the uh, sriracha and also with the mustard, so we don't want to get it too wangy. You don't I want it too salty. Correct. Wangy, now, what I'm going to do here, woo. okay, <laughs> is prepare our lettuce cups. So Lettuce cups? Yes, honey. So you know how like you eat with a taco? So we're basically going to make lettuce leaf tacos, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as sort of like our taco shell. It's kind of like protein style. Exactly. Yeah. You are sharp, man. Well, you are sharp. I try. So are you good at chopping? Sure, yes. I was okay. a bartender for a long time. So oh, okay, cool. So I need you to just chop the scallions like so. Sure, no problem. You want them really thin? Just like that. Okay, so again. Okay, uh-oh, uh-oh. You want to get a close up of this? This is good right? technique right That's here. Like I'm just saying. Straight boy cutting a knife. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's right. I am straight. Just so you all know, I am straight, but I cook, and I stay at home with my kids. I'm like Mr. Mom, so Aww, I do cook. That's cute. Yeah. All right, I'll swipe to the right. Most do, girl. Most okay, do. Okay, most, not all. <laughs> Can't please everybody. That's right. Okay, so now what enough? we want to do is combine those scallions into our salad. It gives it that little oniony, crunchy bite. And could you please also uh, half that half the lime? Lime, correct. Sure. Now mix this it? all together. You squeeze the lime. Yep. Do squeeze a little lime. Both of them. A little bit. Just one. Just one. Okay, that's good. There you go. Mix it up some more. And then what we're gonna do is now we're going to slice up the rest of the lime in case you want it even limier and you can do your own little squeeze, okay? So at this point, that looks beautifully mixed. Now we're going to spoon it into our little lettuce leaf taco shell. Okay, so no carbs so we can have our beach bodies after we eat this. And 
I'm gonna give it a taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That's a gentleman right there. Got the napkin mm. ready, and she just wiped off all the lipstick. But it's good. Mmm, <laughs> man, that's good. I think I'm marriage material. I don't know. What do you think? I'm already 100%. married. Hundred percent. Are you married? Are you single? I am. Ooh. Ooh, we got a love connection. All right here, then. Guys. Well, I think I'm gonna have to go now, <laughs> and I'll see you here next week. Bye. Human jobs have been lost to automation for centuries. Replaced by new inventions. Two hundred and eleven. Ish. Until there's nothing left for humans. Thank you, Brian. Nice and warm for you, sir. But there's one job that should get replaced. Your job as a homeowner, which is actually a series of crappy full-time jobs you do for free. Like security guard. Huh? Protecting your house. Supervisor, protecting your kids. Safety inspector, protecting your house. From your kids. You spend so much time taking care of your home. What if your home took care of you? Presenting Vivint Smart Home. Complete control of your home, all in the palm of your hand. It's the easy way to protect your home and eliminate your crappy jobs. Like security guard. With an attempted break-in, the Vivid Night Vision doorbell cam captures the intruder, sending video to your phone and saving images for the cops. The smart security system sounds the alarm, turns on the lights, and a 24-7 live Vivid rep checks in on you. If it's a real break-in, they call the police immediately. And smart sensors, outdoor cams, and motion detectors track any intrusion. It's so secure, you'll forget how insecure you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better run, coward. Supervisor, your daughter's walking home from school while you're at work. When she's 15 feet from the front door, the doorbell cam sees her, and Vivint sends you a notification. You say hi and unlock the door with your phone. Not some key hidden in a fake rock. And the door automatically locks behind her. Then you can keep an eye on her with the indoor cameras. <laughs> Brittany! What? Take off your dad's briefs. No pile driver. <laughs> Safety inspector. When a fire breaks out, the smoke detector is triggered and Vivit calls the fire department. The thermostat turns off the air to slow down the flames. The door is unlocked so help can get in and you get notified on your phone. Vivint also constantly monitors for flood, carbon monoxide, and freezing. It makes you immortal. I can't say that. It makes you immortal till you die. <laughs> Vivint takes care of the crappy so you can take care of the happy. I know that sounds sappy, but I'm their pappy. Dude. Ah, don't be snappy. So if you kind of care about your biggest lifetime investment and its inhabitants, click here to get your Vivint smart home installed today. Vivint also does all the extra jobs you don't even do yourself like house sitter. When you're out of town, Vivint Smart Home helps you sleep peacefully knowing no one else is sleeping peacefully in your home. Even if you're vacationing on the other side of the planet, you can light up your home at night. The sun can't even do that. Plus, Vivint lets you receive packages before poor robbers do. Got one pallet of Diet Cola here? Thanks, Lloyd. Just stick it in the garage with the others. Did, did you say others? I need them, Brian. She's right. Connect Vivint to voice control and become a demigod. Who controls things like the weather? Cool the temperature in the room by five degrees. Matter, shut the garage door. Even the birth of your grandchildren. Hey, is uh, Emily free? <laughs> Nay. Dad, no! <laughs> Vivin comes to your home and installs everything for you. And they offer professional servicing on all their products. Plus, Vivint automates your home like no other system on the market, despite what some competitors may say. We don't do as much automation, but with our system, you can still turn on your lights with your phone. Okay. Okay. Vivint is the number one smart home system in North America. With over 2 million systems sold and 25,000 five-star reviews, that's a lot of high numbers that mean stuff. And you can have all that for less than the cost of a smartphone. At least a smart home won't make you sterile. If you're still worried about costs, remember, Vivint's alarm system can lower your house insurance payments. Plus, the Vivint Smart Thermostat programs itself, lowering your utility bill by an average of 10% or more. You spent $300 on magic tricks? You mean invested. <laughs> you worried about privacy? Vivint uses cutting-edge encryption to keep your account secure. They keep it nice and safe in a cage-free, organic server. Honey! 
And if you're still on the fence, Vivint comes with a free trial. After that, if you don't love it more than your children, they'll take it back and give it to someone who does. So start your Vivint free trial today and let it take over all your crappy jobs. Vivint Smart Home. Fire yourself and hire Vivint. I had a fun time tonight. Yeah. Hey, pal. Anything you do with her, you're gonna have to do with me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're really getting into food here at the Coffee Corner Show. And today we have Drink House in the house. We have Barton and Bernie is going to show Hello. us and tell us all about their products. Now, Guys? Yeah. Now, where is this located? This is nearby, isn't it? It is. It's like a few blocks away. We're located right oh. on the corner of Temple and Robinson, 3231 West Temple. It's underneath the new apartment building called Home. It's a coincidence. We never planned it. It's called Home Apartment Building. Home and House. And Home and House, yeah. So. That's where I belong. In I home? need to go into their houses. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Right. That's oh, another yeah. reason to come down here. Right, mm -hmm. right. So this is an amazing, amazing spread. It's so colorful and looks so yummy. What's going on here? Yeah. I'll have Bernie introduce some of the yeah. food samples that we sure brought thing. to you and juices. Go cool. ahead. Bernie, step forward. Yeah. yeah, sure. So the whole setup here, we've got uh, two different juices and a smoothie over here. The names of these are, this is uh, Enrich, Nourish, and Fresh Antioxidant. Mm -hmm. So these two here both have uh, beet juice as a, as a major yeah. ingredient. So this is red beets and golden beets. And Beet. what's yep. the green one? Yeah, sure. So the name of it is Fresh Antioxidant. So Fresh Antioxidant. That. That's the one I had earlier. It, it was is. very delicious. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it's a green smoothie with uh, basil, lime, and strawberry are like the three key ingredients in that one that, oh. that make it different to other, other green smoothies. Great. Yeah. yeah, you'll never see that and recipe anywhere else. Well, really, what about really this good. one there? I tried that one. That was really good. The uh, banana yeah. nuts. The banana nuts. Banana nuts. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's... Uh, Bananas, dates, chia seeds, black seeds, cinnamon, cacao, almond butter, almond milk. It's like all mm. your superfoods. There's a really Amazing. good like meal. A lot of protein. Now, now Bardon, yeah. yes. you yeah. weren't always in the food business, right? What were you doing before? And well, how did you get into this? I started from um, real estate development. I'm still in, into it. Mm. And then I'm a creator and you know, I like to create things. Right. So, and it was a easy trans fluid transition into the, from real estate development into the food industry. With slight differences, of course, uh, but I started as a manuf manufacturing a yogurt drink, probiotic yogurt ah. drink, prior to Drink House, and then to create something new, to expand, to be more creative. That's so awesome. I came up with a Drink House branding. Great. And we opened our first location uh, February 2017. Uh huh. So. Now, let me ask you, you know, it's sort of unusual. I've lived in L.A. basically for the, all my life, all hundred years of it. So <laughs> I'm wondering why, why historic Filipino town? Well, we had a lot of options, you know, downtown L.A., Silver Lake, Echo uh -huh. Park, Glendale, and, you know, Studio City. First, the rents are ridiculously high in Ugh, these areas. Tell me about it. And uh, secondly, I mean, Filipino town, it's still under development, yeah. because, you know, new constructions. So, and we'd like to be part of something upcoming, something that we can oh, be I part like of, that. something trendy. new, something like trendy, that. so we can right. be part of something that is being, just being created and developing. So and you're being, real pioneers, I love yeah. that. That's really, really You know really what, uh, can, you, uh, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the pastries? Absolutely. The and the, the salads that you have here? You're not only vegan, but you're, you're, you're this is not just No, no, we're vegan. not only vegan, we do have vegan options right. uh, in a drink house. Uh, basically, the main concept is juices, smoothies, mm. and the second section it's a uh, it's a coffee. We have amazing mm. coffee. Oh. And Jay now Gersey. you have your own brew right there. Yep. Yeah. Jay Gersey is the the source that we get. Do we you get. have a cold brew or a hot brew? Absolutely. Yeah. We have cold brew. We also have kombuchas on top. We couldn't oh. bring the whole kombucha setup. Kombucha on top. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. wow. And, and uh, the, the pastries. pastries uh, actually, those pastries we just uh, start working with this company called Love Dessert. L W A V. Mm. Love like love, but also it means good Love. yeah so they up they provide uh, vegan options and uh, the main ingredients there is not there is no sugar no GMO you know gluten-free all the healthy healthy wow. things so they're those are pretty nice plus they uh, look so pastries. delicious they yeah. are they are they're, nice. they're very thick cookies there I mean, that's, what do you call like those, are the donuts. Donuts. those are the donuts. Those are the donuts. donuts. <laughs> that's what I said. Yeah. I thought it was a, a thick cookie. All right. No, those okay. are the donuts. What about the, the, the salads? What do you got? Bernie, please. Yeah, sure thing. So, yeah, this is a 
this is this is called a chop house salad. This is a house house special salad. So this one's tossed in. Uh, yeah, so there's a roast radicchio and ro roasted squash tossed in quinoa. Wow. Is like the that's not chicharron. Sorry? That's not chicharron. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you can add that later by your, okay. you know, for yourself. <laughs> so I, right. I, well, I love how your, one of your focuses is health. Big you time. Know, you talk about vegan. We food. have mm -hmm. nothing right. frozen, no microwave, no, mm -hmm. deep, no deep fryer. Everything we do is like real whole fresh ingredients. And we make, make everything ourselves in store. We well, that's make, a real pioneering make our own culinary <laughs> concept for Filipino town because, you know, Filipinos love fried pork. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And you, you, so, you know what I mean? You're probably not seeing this, but they also have sandwiches here, yeah. right? And uh, can you tell us a little bit about yeah. your sandwiches? Yeah, so DC sandwiches, this is a roast turkey sandwich. This is a, this one at the front here is, is called The Garden. It's made with a roast pears. Oh. Is, is like the roast pears. Roast pears is uh, wow. Like What's in it? Thin, What's in it? Thin roast slice. pears. Yeah. <laughs> roast pears. Yeah. Ooh, what is roast pears? Roast, uh, sorry, yeah. roast, roast pears. Roast pears. Roast pears. Yeah. Roast pears. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> Chop them up. Fry, uh, roast them in oil syrup. He pie, hasn't so been just, around <laughs> much. <laughs> I don't eat sandwich. No. We're gonna sophisticate him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, are we making coffee too? Yeah, we'll I can make some coffee. coffee, coffee, coffee for you. Corner after all. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. So we brought some espresso shot already ready since mm -hmm. you guys don't have the machine. Now we're so talking. While well, it's still hot. So. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Now we're cooking with gas. Or cold. Mm -hmm. Ice latte. Oh, pump it, baby, pump yeah. it. <laughs> well, you're getting me hot and bothered. <laughs> Woo! I got goosebumps. It's not even done yet. Oh, girl. So, while, while, he, while, he's, while, okay, while he's pumping, uh, keep pumping, guys, baby. While he's pumping, can you, uh, uh, Bernie, yeah. do you guys sell this on a, on a uh, mug like this? Or? We do, yeah. Uh, for drinks in store, we sell them in that. In that. You sell, they sell the mugs? Right? Uh, uh, sorry, do we sell, sell the glasses? Yeah, the glasses. No, we don't. No, they're, so they're don't take them home glasses. with you, okay? I know how you are. But you are. sell them like those. Here we go. Uh, so yeah. Oh, that looks so wow. I just, do we stir it or no? You just, no, just you just What kind it. of milk is this? Whole milk. <laughs> Whole milk? Yes. Not we can, like we have an option of... It's not lacto ovo. So we have options of like soy milk. We do have options of soy milk, milk, hemp milk, oat milk. Oh. Because she likes oh. the pumping part. Got nice. milk. Here, baby, you want to taste? It's really delicious. Right. We offer mm. different types of milk: soy mm -hmm. milk, coconut milk, hemp milk, oat hemp milk. Hemp milk. Yeah. yeah so we all yeah. Yeah. almond milk, definitely okay, almond say that again. milk. Hemp milk. Hemp milk. Hemp milk. Oh, where do you get hemp mm. milk? Only at Drink House. Right there. I know. Drink right? House. Check it out. Also, we do have a Sunday um, event sun uh, every Sunday from 2 to 4. We do have live music events. Have some more. Mm -hmm. We're trying to support the local artists, oh. like new musicians who are trying to be promoted, get known. Filipinos so, love to sing. Right. So mm -hmm. from 2 to 4, <laughs> it's 2 to 4, it's a free admission. You don't have to pay for it. Just come enjoy the mm. music. Ah. And, uh, and your hours from Monday through Thursday is 7 to 4? 7 to 4, and on weekends, Friday to Sunday, we open 7 a.m. till 6 p.m. And you know what? They're local. They're only a few blocks away from where we're shooting the video. Where are you on Temple? What street number? 3231 West Temple, corner of Robinson and... And temple. T and temple. Yeah. There you go. And are you going to be here for the Filipino Town Festival Absolutely. too? Absolutely. Yes. Represent. I, I, I love That's to be awesome. Yay, awesome. Fantastic. Love to be part That's of another it. fantastic reason to be there at this event, August fourth and fifth. Okay, because I'm telling you guys, this is the bomb. Right this is here. good. I'm picky here. about my Sorry, coffee. Sorry, am I hogging it? No, I'm picky about my coffee, and this is good. Right? Yep. I am yep. picky about my coffee, too. Me, too. We Me can too. also offer 10% discounts for first-timers and someone, you know, people who mention Coffee Corner, and we definitely would like to give them okay. a discount as well. So whoever so. mentioned the Coffee Corner show at Drink House mm -hmm. gets a 10% discount. What's not to love? I mean, this is I like no-brainer. Yeah. And we'll give the, the live audience, the uh, studio view, uh, audience, a, a free drink of these fruit juices. They brought some. They're good. All so right. come to the show them. and you'll really get to taste all this wonderful, healthy food. And then the not healthy food, you can, if that's your thing, <laughs> all right. I'll have some for you too. Okay, so there you go. Hi, my name is Jinu Park, and I'm going to be performing at the 17th Annual Historic Filipino Town Festival at the Silver Lake Medical Center, August 4th and 5th. So I'll see you there. Welcome back to the Coffee Corner Show. This is Thelma. We've given Paul a little break, Laura. Mm -hmm. He's munching away. I know. <laughs> drinking those juices. Oh, those trying to buff up in one day. He's 
become vegan. He yes. has. Yeah. So that's overnight. He's vegan. Overnight, He's right? Vegan now. <laughs> well, who do we have here, Laura? It's the Eric Esteban. Esteban. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Upcoming mm-hmm. stand up comic, co founder of Jutes. Jutes. Rolling paper. And you have the ube flavor. Yeah, yeah, oh, Jutes. I love it. Oh, I, I love, love it. ube. Yeah, Jutes is, uh, is the rolling papers company of the Filipino American Cannabis Society, which I'm. Also, the founding member, one of the founding members. Of, no, so, yeah. yes, I was there yeah, during yeah, your launch. Yeah. I will tell you, I know what Jutes is, but these younger ones, they won't. So well, tell them what Jutes is and where it came okay, from. Okay, guys, if you are in Manila <laughs> and you are in search of the good, good, you would say, Hoy, pare, meron Jutes ka ba? Meron ka bang Jutes? Jutes! Jutes! <laughs> Mera kamang jots, kailangan akong jots. So if you were to do that in Manila, that somebody would find you some marijuana. But I don't know about now because you know the turkey might. The turkey frowns on that. Might, you don't want to get killed or anything. But you know, I mean, anyway. Um, so you were born and raised in Chicago. Born and raised in Chicago. Talk yeah. to us about the improv fever there. Well, I'm going to call it fever. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was lucky enough. Uh, there was a guy, like when you go here in, to Improv Olympic yeah. in LA, well, they closed it, but the theater, um, there was a guy painted on the wall, the big wall. Yes. His name was Del. Huh. And I was lucky So he's enough, a real person. There was a real yeah. real person, okay. Del Close. He was the godfather of American comedy, if you nice. ask me. And I was able to study with him. I was the last class to study with Del. Wow. How That's lucky. Amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I, it was like 1999. He passed away in between. I'm um, like in between our, our our class portion of the class. And then we were able to do a show. And before I was able to do a show, he passed away, which was now, was kind of Now, was that out of frustration? It was of a you? little bit for of me. You? But then I was. <laughs> it was. It was. I was like, why'd you have to die like right now? Why could you no. wait it? Till after the show. No, no, I, I mean, I was lucky to yeah. even just even get a little bit of his knowledge. And then from that, since I was in the last class, I went quickly to Second City because I was at Impro Olympic. And instead of when I auditioned for the conservatory there, instead of being in classes, they said, nah, instead, why don't you just come be in the touring company with us? And Ooh. I know. So, improv genius. So I ended up, <laughs> wow. I ended up skipping the whole um, conservatory of Second City. That, is, that is a feed, up. right? You know that because you're oh, in the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it, it's like one of those things that very, very seldom happens. Very and rare. I think part of it was a lot of, well, I, I wouldn't say part of it. I'd say a lot of it was because I was one of the only Filipinos at Second City at that time. Nice. So it was. I and maybe the theater that. background. Well, no, Talk because I was, I was star. I started at Second City and Improv Olympic, and then went into theater. Because okay, I, so that's um, the, so it, I kind of went that's from the order thing. creating characters in sure. Second City and Improv Olympic through comedy, and then creating even more deeper characters through you know plays and like the, the when I did Magna Rubio and at Brickley Gardens. It Which was, like, was you said. Yeah, it's like the, the turning, turning point, point yeah, of your life. Um, Talk to I us about that project. Did, I was eight years in Chicago theater, and then mm-hmm. we did um, Loy Arsenis, who's a off-Broadway, Broadway Filipino genius mm-hmm. director, um, came to Chicago and uh, with uh, Lonnie Carter, who wrote the play. Mm-hmm. It's a, a play that was based off of Carlos Bulosan's short story, huh. and it's a story of the Manongs and the 1940s immigration and how they came here and tried to assimilate themselves here in America, and it's this beautiful story told in poetic verse, and it was nominated for a whole bunch of awards, wow. and then when I got here to L.A., they wanted to do it here again, and I was able to reprise my role from Chicago, and I did it here. That is a gift. And so I was I literally lucky enough to probably one of 20 Filipino actors who've been able to do this play. And wow. It's incredible. And now, now my goal now, is to like blow now up Now look at this. You forgot to connect what? that with Jutes because the Manong story. Well, yeah, no, but Talk to us all about of, that. All, yeah. I think, I think my entire career as far as being a Filipino American has connected myself to this point to where... I'm started, I started the Filipino American Cannabis Society and we created nice. Jutes because during that time, during the Manong's time, they used marijuana and cannabis to demonize us and huh. to say those that used cannabis and marijuana were bad or evil. Or, Isn't or, it so and, much like and the now, present time in the Philippines correct. though? Correct. And now we are able to use cannabis because we le- it's legalized here in right. California and mm-hmm. I think sooner or later across the, the country to empower us financially as well as, you know, 
just in general as a, as a society because why wouldn't we use the thing that they used to demonize? How, how, how ironic right. is it that we use the thing that they used it to demonize? Full circle, sure. Exactly. Then now, then empower us and, and give us opportunities in, in, in now this new America, which we're a part of. And it, and, and Jude, uh, just so the audience knows, some of there's medical health benefits to it. Well, right? yeah. Like, I mean, where, I look at it from a standpoint, like I remember when we did our press conference and they were asking yes. us mm -hmm. about the Duterte situation and mm -hmm. how, um, you know, a, a lot of that is. Uh, a heroin based drug and, and a huh. lot of and mm -hmm. opiates are, okay. are the problems in the Philippines. Whereas sure. we know here in America where if you have a legal cannabis mm -hmm. I'm sorry, right. if you have legal cannabis, medical cannabis, right, opiate abuse drops twenty plus percent in this I society. Didn't know that. Yeah. So I mean medical cannabis, there's so many different uses and benefits to medical cannabis that the the idea that it's been demonized and <laughs> and illegalized for so long is is almost ludicrous. It's beyond. Yeah, it is beyond. because I mean you have kids who have cancer who who can eat again because they don't have any appetite because they're going through chemotherapy, but they they're able to have their appetite because of marijuana. Yeah. There's there, there's proven there's clinical there studies clinical about studies how about how it it, 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 it Ask the doctor. kills wow. <laughs> well, it kid, that, that that it kills cancer cells and in some in some cases I mean there's a lot of different ways and the human race has been using cannabis as a plant for thousands of years. We've only just recently demonized What's it. What's your take on it, Doc? Well, I mean, you know, you're going to see two different viewpoints. Mm -hmm. the, there's people that are for it, against it. Um, there are research studies that have been done, and if used in the right way, mm -hmm. uh, you could actually use it in medicinal purposes. In moderation. Everything in, in, in moderation, moderation. As you do, you know. Now that could Or not moderation, if all you want. Which is what you want to do. <laughs> if y'all want to come with me, it's not going to be moderate. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Filipino Snoop Dogg right here, okay? <laughs> Now, is it CBD, that component that actually has healing benefits? There's CBD, THC, and then there's also the terpenes, which are all, they're all three are the different things that actually react in your body, and they all react differently. CBDs can help you relax with your muscles. That's why a lot of athletes use it. And then the THC is what's the psychoreactive thing that helps you with your brain in, in certain ways. And then the terpenes are sometimes the psychoactive elements that also get you Funky Doctor, and, ah. yeah. not only yeah, funny, see, um, but say, highly intelligent. I know, you I'm so, I'm looks, say. brains, funny. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Asian on. leading man is all I'm saying. You're giving us the one minute signal. I think it's now yeah. 20 seconds. So very quickly, you're going to be at the historic Filipino yes. Town Festival. August Sunday 4th? at 3.30, Sunday. we're going to be doing some comedy. Yay. Probably some clean comedy because there's going to be family there. <laughs> but, Any other shows you wanted to promote? Um... I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. Just follow me on Eric I, uh, on uh, Instagram. I am Eric Esteban. E R I C K E S T E B A N. And I am Eric Esteban. And, you and can follow, follow us. Us. follow us at the Coffee Corner Show. Like us on Facebook, YouTube. Check out our videos. This will be here on YouTube. Subscribe at the Coffee Corner Show on YouTube. We'll be right back at the Coffee Corner Show. Oh, hello. This kitchen. Open concept, complete with a modern art gallery. And the master bath, masterpiece. There's great hidden storage. It's got a man cave. A home gym. Chills. And the neighbors, awesome. Looking good, Steve. But the only problem, who are you? I don't live here, because a real estate agent never showed us this place. Hey, we're back. This is Paul with The Coffee Corner Show and with Thelma and our special guest, Sammy Lorenzana. Lorenzana. Ooh. Okay, Sammy Lorenzana. He was the original Arco Foods, the original seafood city. He was the only Filipino fast food in the 80s. I think 70s and 80s, am I correct? When you said, I need to buy Bagoong, isang lugar lang, Lorenzana's supermarket. And then you sort of, quieted down. 
There was no word. There was the mysterious, reclusive Sammy Lorenzana. Nobody knew where you were, what you were doing, and now you're back with a vengeance. Do talk to us about this amazing product line. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as you said, I went into reclusion. Yes. I tried to find myself. I went into what happened and what I did wrong. Um, it's really a lot, like getting my divorce, mm. uh, having the wrong people that I brought in from the Philippines. And I was very much bothered. Although I was, I've always been a Christian, I always believe in the Lord. It was a sort of a, I, I would even say punishment from the Lord. Mm because I was not 100% obedient, mm -hmm. obedient to his word. But now the, you have him. And in... And every product you have is... Really? Yes. yes. Is on every product? It's, it's, it's oh, in yeah, the back. Oh yeah, look at that. Ezekiel. There's a proverb See? Uh, in the back of each product. It's, it's amazing. I didn't even He's realize that. I had showed the, it to me. I had yeah. a covenant with the Lord mm -hmm. when I was going through this. A friend of mine, Dr. Ray Landero, told me. I know of Dr. Sammy, Ray, yes. You should get out of that company immediately in 30 minutes from here because I feel you will die when you get out of here. I said, why? Your blood pressure is ready to take over your life. Wow. And uh, I want you to know you have a choice. Which one do you love, your family or your company? Hmm. I said, my family, of course. Get out, I want you immediately. And he started with the blood pressure pills to mm -hmm. calm me down. I stopped. I followed him. I let people manage my company. Nice. They ran it to the ground. Oh darn, not nice. Yeah. You see, when the cat is away, the yes, mice the will play. Yes. So I was out. I became, if believe it or not, homeless. Wow. Without a home. Uh, I was staying in people's homes. I was sleeping in the streets, in the car, in the churches. I was working with a man by the name of Tony Iship heard of that name, yes. He was donating food, and I was one of those guys picking up the food to give to people who needed it. I enjoyed it because we were feeding the uh, poor people, the seniors that mm -hmm. did not have provisions. I stayed in a small room when I finally lost everything. Believe it or not, uh, I don't even know how. I must have enjoyed it mm. because I was with the Lord. Yes. It's like saying, I have, as if I'm only with him and nobody else to distract my mind. You found something that was bigger than yourself. Yes. And most importantly, you bounced back. And Thank eventually, well said. after everything happened, I told the Lord, Lord, I want to give everything away. Whatever mm -hmm. I've left, uh, I will surrender it to where it should be. Mm -hmm. But please, let me have my mind back. And it happened. You do. You're so right. sharp. We were having a conversation, Paul, earlier, just to sort of get warmed up to each other. And talk to us about your education. That was amazing. Went to the same school as our national hero, Rizal, in? Heidelberg, Germany. Germany. Wow. <clears throat> I married a German and had two children, four grandchildren. And I was in the military, I was drafted. And uh, just to show off a little bit, I topped the physical test, meaning I was considered <clears throat> the most physically fit American soldier in the army. Wow. American, American soldier. In yes. Germany. So that means you were already here in the US, yes. you're Americanized. Well, yes. I, mean, you're American I was citizen. born in Hawaii. You were born in Hawaii. Yes. So okay. I, I was drafted. Right. And uh, to me, it was a feat because I was only just doing the regular thing. Mm -hmm. I did not know that there was a trophy and a certificate involved. Wow, you still have that? Yes, I'm, I'm nice. the only one that, that got it. Nice, now, you're coming back into the food business, but it's a little different. It has health benefits, it has the biblical statement in the back. Talk to us about this business and how you're helping other people. I was asking the Lord to let me do something. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I'm beholden to the Lord. Of course, I, I call we all are. covenant sure. with him. And I said, Lord, give me something that will honor your name. Mm -hmm. Something I can help others with so that I can have enough funds to share as my parents did to the poor, the needy, the sick. And I looked around and I saw some business in the coffee business. Yes. And I found out that they were selling something that was really worthless. Uh -huh. I mean, a dollar for coffee that had no real nutritional value. Mm -hmm. It's a, a stimulant. Sure. And I found out why a lot of people are nervous. Mm -hmm. They do, take too much of it. Got it. My ex-wife used to be every hour just touching. Mm -hmm. And I told her, will you cut down your coffee? Just take one or two instead of ten. And let's see what happened. She started with just two, it's a bit, she calmed down. Hmm. Okay. Now, what I decided is I can do a better coffee mm -hmm. that is natural, yes. that is herbal, and that is organic. How is it different from the other products that were there before yours? Gano, coffee, all those other, they claim. That they, they are have. only mushroom. Ah, yes, that is right. It's a three-in-one cream sugar mushroom. Okay. I have a combination of very powerful herbal products like ginseng, mm -hmm. moringa olifera, which is malungai. Nice. Yeah, uh, guayabano, which is anti-cancer. So you have a variety. Now I'm getting the signal. We're about to come to a commercial. You want to talk to them about this in about 30 seconds? Sunday? Yes. Um, this is what I like to donate to the Philippines. Okay. It's something that is out of this world. Not any same person would try to come up with a natural, organic, sashimi-grade sashimi? salmon. Bagoong pati sashimi salmon. We'll talk about that at length when we come back. Paul, you wanted to invite them to subscribe. Right, you know what? Uh, uh, if you can check us out, follow us on uh, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, we'll have more of these type of segments. And We'll have more information right now, about we'll this product. We'll have more products. information about this product. <coughs> right now, we're going to go on a commercial break. We'll be right back. And we're back. This is Paul Mirador. Again, we are joined with Thelma and our and special guest, Sam, Sam Lorenzana. Lorenzana. We are so fortunate to have him. Like I said, he was missing in action for the longest time. But do talk to us about this particular product. Well, <clears throat> I've been toying with a new product mm -hmm. that nobody has ever done. Mm -hmm. And the most expensive, it's called, of course, sashimi is yes. raw fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. I buy the raw fish, sashimi grade, organic, and I've turned it into the first sashimi grade bagong patis. <laughs> that should be interesting. Which is natural. Uh, I have told my daughter, who is a doctor, to compare it to the bagong patis which you have. She said, there's no comparison. It's wow. out of this world. I'm excited. Uh, and this is what I want to develop, to bring to the Philippines, mm -hmm. together with the uh, sashimi salmon. I have all, I managed to uh, have access to all the sashimi byproducts after they, they remove the main uh, sashimi, mm -hmm. I take the byproducts, which is exactly the same quality as the one that they took off. Huh. So basically, so this, no is a, this is no waste. This is a flavor that no, no one has ever tasted. Never been. And you know, I don't see the ingredients here, so that's why you have a secret recipe. <laughs> that is correct. There is. Where, where well, can it's, find most, them? it's mostly byproducts of the salmon. Got it. But, okay. but sashimi grade. All right. Not that what you buy here. It's something that the, the, most of the people now want sashimi. They want sashimi salmon. Yes. And they get it for $10 per two, three pieces. Right. Where would, the, where would you mix this with what meal? What food? It's everything. Dineng ding, pinakbet. Saute and put your vegetables, anything. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a regular. Uh, but well, but it, you cannot better. compare. It's not comparable. Right. This in the Philippines, I can provide this for the hundreds and thousands of people. Hmm. That will be the main ingredient in rice. That's the full meal right there. Nice. Right. nice. And the potency is, it's a full meal. It's yeah. omega. Ah! Yeah. Your name it's a full on meal. It. Okay. So you know what? Pocket. Well, where can the audience Order, yes. find? Uh, these products. Right now, everybody will get a, a part of that. How about here in LA? How about here in LA? The audience gets one. Um, 
you know all the audience get yes. yes by the way i am still i have about 20 drums in my home now wow and i have to use my gloves i have to uh, sterilize this mm -hmm. and make sure one by one in a funnel and sell it and i do everything okay. so it's online available online not yet it's the first time it's, it's the first time we're it's uh, here for the first time we, the you can start oh, with this is, this bernie is, uh, of course it's a launch this, it's exactly. a launch of this product you right. start with so bernie perfect. or um, Ray, you get one. 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 No, no, but, but I get two. I'm joking. Well, no, you. Uh, what I did Everybody is I put one. it in different containers. Sure. Okay. 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 Right. So it might not have delay. This is the one that is now being sold for like ten, fifteen dollars. But to the guy that wants to sell it, he gets it for five dollars. How about if nice. they come to our show yes. and get one of these? So if you guys want to come to our show next week, taping. And then we'll donate next week Saturday, a portion of yes. it. You're going to get one. Love it. Everybody's going to get one. If you come to our show next weekend, this, next Saturday, uh, be here at 8.30 in the morning. We start taping from 9 to, 10, uh, 9 to 10. So be here and you'll get one of these. Okay? That's a That's come good. on if I've ever heard one. All right. So anything out. else you'd like to say before we bid well, goodbye? Well, uh, I want you to know that I'm not doing this for myself. I know. I want to do it for the poor, the sick, the needy, the disabled, and donate most of the proceeds, mostly starting with the Philippines and whoever needs it, even in this country. Well, I'm the sick, poor, and needy, so I uh, qualify. Yes. Okay. Uh, I love Everybody it. Everybody qualifies. Right. Well, we hope to see you at the historic Filipino Town Festival. Paul, you want to plug it in for the end time? Okay, so you know what? Uh, we're going to have, and this is the, probably the last day we're going to be able to uh, promote the festival. August 4 and 5th, Historic Filipino Town Festival is going to be at the Silver Lake Medical Center uh, parking lot. And the a, Coffee Corner Show is going to be there. The Coffee Corner Show is going to be there. We're, check us out. Come down. You know, maybe some do, join some uh, uh, games that we have there. We have some spin a wheel giveaways and so on. But again, you're going to be entertained. You're going to be. You're going to see a lot of attraction performances. And uh, Karen Sita you know, is going to be there. Karen Sita is going to be there. And Gino Park. Man, two, for two days we had oh 485 views. In no two days. kidding. Right, for Gino Thank Park you, Gino. Alone. And Shane Saloria, and don't Shane forget. Saloria. We're gonna have a lot of performance. Eric Esteban right, is right. gonna be there. Thank you, everyone. Right. So. Thank you. All right. Well, until Th then. Thank you again, Thelma. Of course. Thank you for yeah, coming. Appreciate it. Thank well, you. Paul, thank, thank you for well, having me. We look me forward to. Uh, it's not only saying it, but doing it. That's correct. There you go. I was Just trained, do it. I was trained in Europe. When you say it, you must do it. Action speaks louder. That's right. That's right. <laughs>